That's right. This is actually the fifth break in in just the past two months. Now, as you can see, the windows have been repaired. These were broken, but the owner tells me that it set them back roughly $4,000. Now, we do want to clarify that no money or food was stolen, but the general manager says the break ins may have occurred in this store, but it's affecting all nearby businesses. And now she's calling for more accountability. We really just need some more protection, um, more laws, um, you know, that holds a higher consequence when people break into businesses. The investigation into all five break-ins are still ongoing, although the Tokos manager says they haven't heard any updates thus far. Now, coming up at 6 p.m., we hear from elected officials and how they say they plan on advocating for local businesses right here in Natomas Crossing. Live in Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Juliette Smith, Fox 40 News.